Hello, I'm Ammo Oliverio with another episode of Out and About with Eastern West Virginia Community and Technical College. I got a question recently about deer and their horns or antlers. What are they called and is there a difference? Well, I got some skulls to show you. See, here, this is a small buck or male deer skull and here are the antlers. Now, if you take a look at the skull, there's just this small protrusion there coming out of the bone called a pedicel. And every year, the antler grows from it. And while it's growing, it's actually covered with this tissue that is full of arteries and veins that's feeding nutrients to this bony structure here called an antler. The other thing is that the antlers will actually shed every year. Now this process is hormone controlled and a lot of times the day length, how much daylight there is in a day, kind of signals the deer's body to change those hormones. After the antlers are fully grown, uh, usually around like August or so, the velvet will die not painful and then it just kind of starts to flake off well what happens is say this here the larger antler you can see this region here there are small protrusions that help a deer scrape against the tree and leave a mark a uh, deer rub what we like to call them and that also allows the deer to get rid of that dying velvet that's drying and then you would have the exposed antler. Now once that mating is over, what hunters like to call the rut, the daylight is still decreasing in the day and it further signals hormone changes that begin to make the bone, the calcium, be reabsorbed by the deer and then the antler would eventually fall off. A lot of people actually go out in the woods and look for sheds of those antlers. Now, horns on the other case, say like this skull here, which is just a domestic goat, the bony protrusion extends out of the skull the whole way. And the horn is covered by proteins, specifically keratin, which is the same stuff that's in your fingernails, to cover it. And you can see that it's hollow and fits right over. Now, if you would cut these off, they don't grow back. While the deer's antlers, after they shed, will grow back every year. So we have antlers and we have horns. If you have any other science or nature questions, please shoot me an email at bet at easternwv.edu and I'll try to answer it during another episode.